And here's the final result after drying off. Most of the white flakes are gone. There's still a slightly thick layer, slight, slightly thin layer on top. But we got rid of most of it. Well, that was actually pretty good. Um, so this little pumice stone, Mr. Pumice, uh, my wife picked up, of course I'm stealing more of my wife's stuff uh, to, to mess with my psoriasis, but she did approve my use of this. So um, yeah, this, this, this guy was actually pretty good, Mr. Pumice. I'll put a link down below to, to let you guys know if you want to use it or not. Uh, so essentially this is, this, this back, this dark purple part is, uh, is, is very much just like sandpaper. Um, that's why I don't want to use real sandpaper because it wasn't designed for, for use on my skin. So I'm not going to use real sandpaper. However, this guy, uh, was designed for that and it worked really well. This, this dark, dark purple side, very, very abrasive. Um, it can cause bleeding if you do push too hard. So definitely, uh, if you do decide to use this, don't, uh, don't push too hard on it. Use it very lightly. Um, this backside was, was very much uh, less uh, less coarse, um, so this this side was was good for smoothing smoothing it out uh, afterwards. So I, I would definitely recommend this. This this actually worked pretty darn well. Um, you know, obviously I only did the front of my my shins there. Definitely want to not just spray water on if your scales are are pretty thick. Um, I would uh, soak before doing any of this. Uh, normally I would just do this in the bathtub, but I don't wanna, I don't think you guys wanna see me in the shower doing this stuff. So that's it for this video. If you all wanna see more, we'll uh, be back next time with uh, something new, hopefully. All right, talk to you later.